Gender inequality remains a major barrier to national development in the society world over. Women, reports indicate, are neither involved in crucial national talks nor their interests well catered for. But the First Lady, Margaret Kenyatta, while addressing the NALSA conference in Nairobi, said there is need to urgently address gender inequality. The First Lady especially underscored the role women can play in fostering a united society not only in the country but also globally. She spoke as the United Nations Women Organization called for a better labor market that addresses the needs of women. Statistics indicate that 89% of women in the sector are paid low salaries compared to men in the sub-Saharan Africa. The fact that women uh, do two and a half times more uh, domestic and care work than men and that women who have children, um, you know, uh, pay, are paid less than, than uh, women who don't have uh, children. As long as we are going to take things for granted, that things are happening, and without our asking questions and probing into the issues and creating an environment, then and then it will be possible. They made the remarks during the unveiling progress of the World's Women Report for the year 2015-2016 titled Transforming Economies, Realizing Rights. The report, among other things, notes that the gap between the rich and poor women remains vast both between and within countries. It cites the example of a woman in Sierra Leone saying she is 100 times more likely to die in childbirth than a woman in Canada. And in the least developed countries like Kenya, a woman living in a rural area is 38% less likely to give birth with a skilled health professional that is her counterpart in the city. As we do that, you know, we will find that women remain at minimum wage or less and therefore, or at the poverty line, and therefore they are not able to bring their resources apart from their own labor <laughs> to contribute to social initiatives. To address such challenges, the 25-page report is calling for the implementation of gender-responsive social policies, resource mobilization, and enabling global environment and an expanded evidence base on women's economic and social rights. Irene Mchuma Udim, Channel One News Hour.